promotional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Two words, cash back. Two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. Christianity is about walking by faith, living with hope, and sharing our love. And the greatest of these is love. We love God, our neighbors, and one another. And we would be delighted for you to come share the love of God with us at the Hinton Church of Christ, 307 South Spencer in Hinton, Oklahoma. Join us on Sundays for Bible classes for all ages at 9 a.m., worship at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., and midweek Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win, win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at sportal.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere on any device perfect for the entire family and easy to use enjoy pioneer iVideo today Scordal.tv. Find out more at scordal.com slash stream. At Maple's Mix and Dish and Dish, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. All right, I want to welcome you guys back here for game number two of the evening, the Hit Comets playing against the Watonga Eagles. Coming off the girls game here, I want to remind everybody, of course, glad to see you here on the extra stream. we got an exciting game here, first game season opener on the road. Coach Potter, you've been talking to the coaching staff for the game, joins me alongside this evening. And uh, what you got, what are your keys for the game so far? Uh, you know, in, in talking to Coach Phillips, the big key is hitting the boards tonight. Uh, you know, long athletic team in, in Watonga, we got to block out, uh, got to hit the boards and not give up any second chance points. Uh, you know, be smart with the basketball, avoid those turnovers, and, you know, just get off to a hot start. You know, we, we're going to look to shoot the ball and, and do the things we need to do here. About to announce our starting lineup here. Yeah, that's our new look five, too. Yep. Number one, Braden Strong. Number 10, Peyton Bailey. And he's a new look, too, a transfer from Dibble. Number 15, Levi Taylor. The senior. Number 21, Nolte Morgan. 
And number 24, Faith Deal. Yeah, so for one to five, it'll be Thiel, Morgan, Taylor, Strong, and then Bailey playing the five. As we kind of talked about earlier, you know, in the girls' game, we were talking about the preview for the boys' game is how do they replace that size, how do they replace that, you know, crashing the boards, that ability down there at the low post to set Spady. Yeah. And losing Roderick Sauer, shoot an injury, of course, you think he'll be back some point this season, but that's the question. Yeah, for sure. You know, it is, it's length and... You know, one of the things we're going to look to do this year is uh, we're going to be a little more of a dribble drive yep. team. Uh, and with that, what we're going to be looking to do is try to, uh, you know, spread the floor a little bit and take advantage of our speed and quickness. We've got good length. We just don't have a, a ton of height. So we're going to look to spread the floor a little bit, beat people off the dribble, kick out, shoot threes, stuff like that. So, you know, it's going to be a... It's going to be interesting to see uh, just kind of how that goes, how, how all that looks, and, uh, you know, it, you know, just excited to watch these young men uh, take the court and get after it. Yeah, and I'd, I'd have to think, too, you know, the key is going to be whether it be mid-range or, you know, from the perimeter, they're going to have to shoot the ball well. They're going to have to have a high, you know, a shooting percentage just the way this team is built and designed. And, you know, it's one of these things you're not going to get a whole lot of points down low, so you're going to shoot the ball well. And, you may not get that many second chance points either, so you got to capitalize. And of course, they're going to lean on guys like Fate Thiel, Nolte Morgan. Absolutely, absolutely. They're going to depend on their productivity a bunch. And so Peyton Bailey, the new Comet, going to jump it off for gonna us. Jump it off, number twenty on the other side for the Eagles. Again, just kind of rolling by numbers for the opposing team. And your 2022 season is underway. Matonga ball to start the game. From the corner, inside feed, Bailey sticks a hand in there, tries Great to poke job. that one out. Oh, in there from the uh, Nolte Morgan, good jobs. And that's what, you know, one thing Coach Phillips talked about, we're not super tall, but you can look at the length of our arms in this zone between Braden, Peyton, and Nolte. we got a lot of length. And getting <laughs> ball back to the corner there. Should have three seconds, yep. yep. Great job. Great job. A lot of excitement from the bench right there. That's good to see. i tell you what, defensively, that was a good look. There was, there was really nothing there working. That's a good way to start the game. You can see the first look offensively now. They still lead under point for the Comets. It's like some man-to-man -man defense here for the, uh, uh, for the Eagles. Get a hand in there, turnover on the first drive, a quick feed in transition, turn, spin. Great job right yeah. there. Great job by Levi getting back and disrupting the flow. And the energy. Yeah, like I said, you love to see the energy off the bench. Yeah, absolutely. That's It always makes it, whatever sport, it always makes it better when your guys who are not in the game are involved in the game, you know, ready. Morgan, 4 first 3 Bang! First points of the season. Got a Merton Morgan. Good active defense right there. Good shot right there for Watonga. Hitting the three. They had some good ball movement. I felt like our guys were playing pretty good defense, but it's just good shot. All right, I had to get the scoreboard updated yeah, there. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Tied up three to three here. Strong drives. Kicks it back out at the corner. Nolte Morgan with another three. That rattles around. Rebounded by number 20. Got to stay active. That. Ooh. Looked like that could have gone the other way. Yeah. Got his arm extended on us, but all right. Number four is the inbounds. Pick that in at number one. Or excuse me, zero. Pulls a three there, deep three. It's going to have to be off glass. Not off the back of the rim. Not a good-looking shot there. Good box out right there by Levi. Catching at the high point. That's strong. Flips it up the field. Crosses. Takes a step. Puts up a shot. Draws contact. Yeah. And a foul. Take. Good strong take right there. So that'll send him to the strike for the first free throw attempts for the Comets. First of the night for either team. It's the first foul on number 20. First shot's good. So 
again, little things here, free throws. Want to make both your free throws. Second free throw attempts up and good. Absolutely. Number zero dribbles. Going to set up the offense. Crosses. Flips over to number 10. Back over, has some space, tries to make the pass. Lucks out there, the ball stays with the Eagles, and another three ball attempt there. Great block out by Braden. Good job, forces a kind of a tough shot there. And Theo crosses with the foul. Your foul on number zero right there. Good job by Fate. Get some more length in there, number yeah. three. That's 25 goes to the bench for the Eagles. And number three is a tall player. <laughs> yeah, they, three and uh, I believe number 20. Yeah, number 20 were taking turns dunking in, in pregame. And yeah. Man, they could get up there. And again, they know, you know, they've studied this game well, studied this team well. They know that's one thing that we're going to be lacking in a little bit. And they've, they're trying to go at us with all the size. Absolutely. Pulls up a jumper there. It's clean. I like to see that shot fall through the comments. Yeah, got a good look. A good look at it. Like say, just like we talked about during the girls' game, you know, the looks are what's important because eventually the shots fall. That's got to be a jump ball. Yeah, he he is surprised. Very interesting yeah. turn of events there. Good job by Levi staying in there. I, I was waiting for the whistle at any moment, but that's all right. Plus two and kind of goes up twice with it. I'm not exactly sure how that's a jump ball, but this one down here wasn't. <laughs> but that's all right. That's we'll. Uh, We'll play on. We got got possession here, so let's make the most of it. Comets leading early here, five to three. Yep. Deal looking for the inbounds feed. Morgan. Both teams playing really aggressive defensively. You know, and this could end up being kind of a game that's not a real high scoring game, uh, just based on the aggressiveness of both teams. Yeah. You know, I mean, both teams are gonna get after it defensively. Good shot there by Fade. Just didn't yeah. get it to fall. And like I said, season opener. Both teams want this win. You want to start the season off on the right foot. Yeah. I think uh, Watonga probably has a little bit of revenge on their mind from last season. You know, Comets really took it to them in the first basketball game. Of the season Another deep last year. three. Banks it this yeah. time. And again, you know, they're forcing them to take those not particularly high percentage shots. And right. for the first time, they kind of bite them on that. But, you're, you know, I'm not really opposed to giving up a basket like that, that's a pretty deep three. If, if you're giving up a deep three-pointer like that, that's just, it's going to happen sometimes. And a little contact there, finishes. Comets regain the lead, one point. 7-6 ball game. Great backdoor cut right there by Nolte. Good job by Faye to get that, that little pocket pass in and getting us two more. There's got Turnover there, 351. Moving quick here, was looking for the feed there to Bailey. Good, strong uh, ball handling by Levi whenever he made that steal right there. Faye got in a hurry right there, make the pass. Didn't, Peyton wasn't looking for it right there. So yeah. no, I think he might have peeked back and then went, looked ahead, and Faye thought he would keep looking this way. So it happens. And need to get in there on the help. Bailey does. Ball at the corner, back inside Very feed. Good shape right there. Another three oh, ball. Yeah, let him take that shot. Yep. Great job blocking out right there by Peyton. You know, like I said, they're just forcing them to take tough, you know, tough yep. shots. Sometimes they're going to make them, but you know, I don't mind forcing, a, you know, forcing them to do a shot like that. No, it's him blocking out right there. They, that's the, the second foul on number 20. So you, you get him out of the game for a little bit. Yep. And this also, you know, probably smart play right here by Coach Phillips. Going ahead and get get Peyton Bailey a little bit of rest too. He's our tallest guy. Yeah, Jack Brookshire checks in the game. Get Jack in there, and you know, Jack is is known for coming in and playing hard off the bench and giving you a, a quick lift. Oh, good shot off glass. It's Comets. Make them pull the lead at three. Good start here for uh, Nolte Morgan. Seven points early yeah. for the Comets. Yeah. And again, you know, Nolte being a guy who came off the bench last season, played good at times, be a guy that, you know, you thought maybe get six points in a game, get you a couple big shots, and kind of provides some relief off the bench as he's so far looking looking like he's made a big step up. Yeah, good, good ball movement right there to get Faith that open three. 
So far, kind of similar to the to the girls' game in the terms of just a couple of people scoring all the points for both teams. Yeah. Two people for Watonga, two people for Hinton of all the points. And gets a hand in there. Going to move quickly here. Has a look down court. That's disrupted there by number or by number zero. Man, it looked like right there. You know, Levi, Levi knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to get the ball to fade. He did, maybe didn't quite get the catch first before he made the pass. And uh, but he was looking for it. He had his eyes open. He was ready. You see, he's kind of playing that two-one-two. Two. That zone defense—they've done a pretty good job defensively so far. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a little one-two-two two action here, or two-one-two. Two, excuse me. And another just tough shot again. You'll take that rebound by Brookshire. You'll take that all day. Oh, yeah. That shot is not there. Oh, yeah, and, and if you watch, Jack will come in and get a and and get some scrappy points and scrappy rebounds. That's just what he does, man. He, he's just a scrapper. Bad turnover right there. Yeah. He, you know, they, I think they know he, it. He was looking uh, into the post, but that's one to just make the simple pass and, you know, get the ball inside. 209 remaining. Number four looking for the feed. It's not there. That's keeping on the perimeter. Again, just a good job by the Commons defensively. Being really, really active. Yeah. Problems. Loses it for a moment. Finds out of the corner. Out of control right there. That's yeah. what he needs to. And right into our camera right crew. Into our, right into our table over here. Rochelle. We knew there was one coming yep. at some point in time. Rochelle Potter has that bad luck <laughs> that a basketball or something's going to fly at her at some point in the game. She called it before it happened. Spoke it into existence. Hey ball, a little too much sauce. Yeah, got a good rebound and by Nolte. Yes, puts it up. No good. Six-point ball game. They're moving quickly here. Good job there getting a hand in. Thiel, some contact to the floor and a foul. Call right there. That was a foul, but got away with it. So we'll play on. Twenty-three sets up the inbounds pass. Gets a hand in there. Morgan. Let's see if they can move quickly here. He's going to take matters in his own hands. Lays it up and rattles in. Nolte Morgan with the bucket. As the boys are all fired up yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah Nolte with nine, nine points here to start the first quarter. Good start. What a first quarter. Again, you know, you, you love to see what, what players are going to make a big step up. And, again, you don't want to say too much out of one quarter in one game, but Nolte Morgan, what a start. Yeah, good start to the start to the game for him. Just got to keep it rolling, keep things moving along here. And, you know, as the game goes along, you look to get some more guys involved and, and, and get it going. So. And, you know, the surprise, too, for the Watongas, I'm surprised their struggles offensively here, especially with their size. You know, the, the Comets have done a really good job on defense of, you know, forcing tough shots. It's just not been there for right. the Eagles. Right. Yeah, the, the Comets have done a great job of, of, extend, of extending their defense and making them have to, you know, work from out here further on the perimeter than they want to. And that's a good, good start defensively. So minute 15 here. Passes number three over to the corner. And a wide pass there, and that's going to set up a dunk to there. And he, there's some of that. <laughs> there's some of that athleticism there, on there, display right there. There's the length right there. Definitely got the length. Not as. Ross's move, flat feed down low. Jack Brookshire, a little contact, puts up a shot. They're going to fight for the ball. And the eagle ball. So again, this last minute, important. You got a six-point lead. Kind of owned the quarter so far. All the momentum's been in your way. You want to... Yeah, just got to close it out now. Yep. Got to close it out. Cross court pass. That's what you really want to see here is, is good def a good defensive possession. We'll see if they try to stretch this out and make it the last possession of the quarter. And you can see a lot of dribbling. That's yeah. They're, they're playing right into our hands. Oh, man. He likes him to go straight up yeah, and set it down. 
if we don't try to spike down right there, it's not yeah. a foul, but we, we swiped our hand down. If you get one swat and the bench comes alive, all of a sudden you want another one. And yeah. I mean, like you said, just came down, got to go straight up there, which is easier said than done, of course, from the from over here on the side. But, sure. but you know, those are the plays where, you know, where you start you know, looking at it. You know, that's Jack's second foul, so, you know, you want him to maybe not have that one right there, but efforts there and we're scrapping down to miss a free throw you know yeah what we've done really well is cut those pass away so now they're trying to dribble too much and i guarantee you their coach is going to say they're over dribbling and so they're not getting good shots so good block out now we're offensive end to close out the quarter all right 15 seconds we'll see how they close it out the steal leads from the point over to morgan inside feed misses them there great pass as they got lost in space. And makes it off the last deep three ball. And that shot counts. As it came out of the hands before the buzzer. Who was that that made that number four? Yeah, that was number four. Oh, man, that shot was from another zip code, too. Yeah, don't can't, can't say much about that. It just... Just like that in a crazy five-point game. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll come right back here in the start of the second quarter. Shanton Comets leading by five. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. All right, here we go. All right, second quarter underway. Your Comets leading by five. He's got Morgan Strong. Feel. Got a little feedback here. Yeah, sorry about that. Taylor. And Bailey is your starting five here on the second quarter. Three kicks that over to number 10. Jarvis getting a hand in there, forced to throw the corner. Cross court pass, Comets in on almost it. Almost had it. Yeah. Almost, we were just a half step behind. Taylor, almost almost Taylor had about that. had that. Oh, and tough pass there. Gets away with it, turns around and toasts the jam. As again, not much you can do there. If you're gonna go up, you're gonna draw a foul. Yeah, man. Yeah, Faith made the right decision. You just gotta let him have that one. That's what, and that's again where you, you just, when you have somebody that tall and athletic, it, sometimes it happens. But you keep making him shoot that, and he's not going to make it. He, yeah. He's been way off on his two three-pointers, so we want to keep him out there. Three for Strong. Off the rim. Great job by Levi to deflect it. Eagle ball, but like you said, good deflection there. Again, we watched a lot of Comet basketball last season. I don't remember very many turnaround jams like that. No. As no they've got, Watonga's got a couple of pretty special athletes. Yeah, for sure. For sure they do. Still, still funny to me. I mean, you know, we got 18 points. We're in the second quarter, and it's 9-9, nine and nine, fate and uh, yeah. penalty. So... Kind of unique how that's happened. Yeah. Kind of like in our our girls game, our, our points were uh, Alyssa and, and Alex yep. to start us off. So Open three there, no good. Rebounded by Strong. And shots just are not falling for Watonga. That's been their so their big Achilles heel so far. Yeah, so they're, they're getting some looks. And that's a turnover a, right there. We that's a tough one. A couple of possessions right there that we're, we, we've uh, had turnovers. 6.30 remaining, still a five-point ball game. Both teams kind of searching for points the last couple minutes. Dangerous pass there. That was close. Strong was in on it. Another tough three. Has to arc that one. Rattles around, no good. Yep, watch back there, Fate. Oh. Some yeah, point there's... Yeah, 25 poking his hand in there, no foul. That's a lot of contact. That's a lot of contact. A lot. <laughs> 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 
Sapil drives, takes man in his own hand, pops up a shot, and a foul. An aggressive move right there. That better? I think it's the power of the beard. There's something. Yeah, because I've got it. I've got my microphone closer than you do, <laughs> and, and you're having trouble hearing me. I don't that know what's That or I just have a loud mouth. Either one. It, it might be that. <laughs> There we go. Good job. Got balls. Knocked one down. Ten points there for Fate. Again, it's one of the players we talked about pregame that's going to need to you know, be a leading scorer for this team. Yeah, for sure. That, that's your man. It's a seven-point game. Largest lead of the night, I believe, for the Comets. Kicks it over to four. Looks inside. It's going to keep it back up top. Again, feeds it inside, low post, back to the corner. Com is locking up defensively. Yep, keeping the ball again, moving on the perimeter. Shot from the elbow, rattles around, and again, another shot that rattles and doesn't fall. Yeah, he, he kind of turned around quick. I think he was expecting the defense to be there, and it, I think he kind of rushed his shot a little bit. Ah, banks off glass. <laughs> Nolte right there with another two. Gives him 11, and Fate with 11. <laughs> have all 22 of our points here. That's yeah, a battle for, <laughs> get turned into a battle of uh, which one of our which one of those two can score the most points. I'm telling you. 11 and 11, kind of rooting them on, see how long they keep this going. Yeah, for sure. For sure, but got a full timeout here for Watonga. Try, they're trying to get settled down, get settled back into their offense a little bit. We've got them flustered. Yeah. And again, I think, you know, the biggest key to – the success so far for the Comets has been the defense. Yeah. You know, using the length and playing well in that zone. Yeah, I think the zone defense has been, has been really big, and it's forced them to take tough shots. And then at the same time, they've got shots that are just not falling. You sure. know, that one from the sure. elbow a second ago, it just, they've had several rattle around, and you hope they keep that up tonight. Yeah, it's kind of, like, you know, kind of opposite. For, like with our girls, you know, our girls were getting good looks, and that shot wasn't necessarily going in. And yeah, like I said, with Tonga's kind of the same thing. The boys right now is they're, they're getting some good shots. They're just not not, not able to hit them. But, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think it's been a, been a good start. I think uh, Coach Phillips has to be pretty pleased. Some things I'm sure you yeah. don't want to tighten up. And he's, uh, you know, when we get to the half, he's probably going to say, hey, guys, if we cut those turnovers down, we are up by 15 right yeah. now, you know. And, you know, just kind of something to know for Watonga, no players with double-digit points yet, you know. With 521 here in the second. And it's, it's a great job. Job turnover Bailey. Puts it to Morgan. Uh, we got oh, hurry. tough got travel. Hurry. Yep, got to hurry travel. Five oh two. Yeah, that's, that's sw kind of sloppy right there. Yeah. He is, uh, and I know uh, Tonka is definitely a young team, uh, and, and from what I've been told, they're they're a younger group, and probably gonna have some you know some growing pains along the way, but definitely you can see a lot of potential, a lot of athleticism. And Taylor, good pass there, bullet pass. Bailey has a double, has to get out of it. Does uh, Strong's gonna drive? He puts up a shot, some contact. See, right, and right there, you know, you can see where Brayton's trying to avoid, you know, some of those blocks because those are big, tall guys in there. But probably Coach Phillips would tell, hey, go into their chest and make them foul you so that we can keep getting them in foul trouble. There so you go, go, yep. Right in the chest. If you go into their chest, it hurts number 20. I think that's it. Is that 20? I believe. They give it on. Oh, no, nope, a four, okay. yep. thought they gave it number 20. But. Oh, a good take right there by Braden, and good job of going up strong and attacking him. And just make this a 10-point game. Hey, Perfect ball. Somebody, somebody else on the board <laughs> here for the, for the comments. Uh, <laughs> and a 10 point. Can they make this 11? Extend it out. They do. Second one falls. Two for two. Good job by Braden right there to make it count. A lot of, you know, and we, we are joking about the points and who's scoring. But I'll tell you, you watch this game, and there's a lot of comments playing really, really well. Driving there, lays it up, uncontested. Easy shot. Nolte Morgan, he's got 13 now. 
Yeah, Comets are playing well. And, uh, you know, playing well in some areas that may not show up in the stat sheet necessarily. The oh, good, good pass the there. Oh, with a block. Yeah, they, yeah, no goaltend on that one. 100% a goaltend. Yeah, better travel. Ball don't lie on the other end. No, that's exactly right. I'll tell you what, that's a nice feed by quarterback. Yeah, <laughs> that, was a, that was a QB throw. That right was a QB there. feed right there. Uh, look, uh, yeah, it looked like from here that he, he got up there and got a piece of the rim, which would be a goaltend. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. We were yeah. at a tough angle, but. You could hear it. It sounded like you could hear it. Yeah. But you knew as soon as Nolte got on that breakaway and number three was back there, he was going to go for that block. There was yeah. no doubt. Oh, from another Zipco, bang! Is there any place we can't hit, you can't hit those from? 16 points. My hey, goodness. Fate right in the butt with the ball. <laughs> That's going to be 18 points. 18, easy lay-in. Comets keep it rolling, 31-13. And they slow the momentum oh. down. Deep three. That's going to be a tough yeah, one we'll there. You got to get a little slot. We're getting a little. Uh, yeah, getting. They're getting a little flustered. Slushy. Pressing a little bit here again. Young team. And another three ball here. Bang! <laughs> Lighting up the board. Twenty-one points for twenty-one. And that's going to bring a time. And Coach Potter, what do you have to say about that? Uh, wow, wow, that was a flurry, flurry of points right there. I mean, look at that, that's a 7-0 run in about 30 seconds, so, you know. Uh, so great job, great job moving the basketball, finding the hot hand, you know. It, that's one thing that will drive you crazy in basketball. You see a guy get a couple shots down, and then some other joker takes a shot. You're like, no, what are you doing? Get it to yes. him. And the comments are doing a great job of – Finding Nolte right now, you know, because he's open and he's hitting shots. So they're doing a great job of keep feeding him. Let it, you know, ride that hot streak. Don't don't take any bad shots by anybody else. Keep finding the guy who's hot. And the Comets have done a great job of that. So love to see the way they're playing. Love that we're out to a 21-point lead. Yeah. Um, and, you know, now you want to see, hey, can we keep this going? Can we keep the pressure on Watonga? It's so tough sometimes when you get a quick lead on a team to keep that same intensity. I mean, you know, OU against, yeah. <laughs> against OSU in Bedlam. Yep. You know, it's hard to keep that intensity level. So that's what that's what I'd like to see from Sorry, Libby. from Hinton as we go uh, <laughs> as we go down the uh, uh, through the rest of this game is can we keep that same intensity? And we've got a mature group, and I and I think that's something we will see is you know us continue to. You thought, if you thought we were going to make it to the basketball season without putting <laughs> Levy on blast one time, hey, listen, think again. Hey, what the, you know, listen, I don't know. That was a tough game. <laughs> tough, tough bedlam game. But 700 yards against Texas Tech. Got to win that one. So, All right, 34-13. Good news is your comments. Blowing this one open so far. 257 remaining in the half. Yeah, a lot of game left. A lot of game left. So got to keep playing. Got to keep up the pressure. Flips the three over to four. Is going to drive. And Strong stands him up. Great oh, and a, yeah, late Wait. ball there. Yep, scrap. Yep, that's all right. He's just held there. Flustered. Yeah. Scrapping around and, and trying to trying to get some deflection. So. And it seems like they're just offensively kind of scrambled a little bit. Not, yep. not, really, not really set up. And, you know, I think, again, some of that's from being young. Some of that's from the Comets playing good defense and making them feel that, you know, feel that pressure and making them have to scramble. Second free throw attempt. That's no good. It's been a while since we're talking about the scoreboard. by Trace. Trace Reese checking in for his first action for Nolte. Yep. Got him a good rebound right there. One of the players that Coach Phillips talks about would be coming off the bench, looking to get some production here. Another three-ball attempt falls. That's 13 now. Four, 14. Or 14, excuse me, yeah. She got 35 points from two players. That's a – Of the 37. That's a great shot contest right there by Braden Strong. Good effort right there by Braden. That's a good take. 
Good take right there. Sometimes it doesn't fall, but good take. Lead has gone up to 24. 37-13 here for the Comets. That's number 10, dribbles there over to 33, kicks to the corner. Tries to find the inside feed. Again, Bailey, Comet's just all over that one. That should be, yeah, should be Comet ball. Inbound. Minute 45. Kicks it over Taylor. From the corner. Thiel. Inside feed. Brooks or sorry, Bailey. And a tough shot there. Good Second job chance by points. Levi. No look pass. Get it out of there. Bailey puts up a shot. Comes down with it. It's got to be a call. Yep. He'll shoot for two. He just kind of came down with an elbow, almost it looked like. First free throw attempt, Miles. Shooting well, excuse me, shooting well from the free throw line tonight. Yes. Taking advantage of those opportunities. That's a big deal like we talked about in the first game. Yep, number zero comes back in the game. Number 20 goes to the bench. And they're going to get the rebound here, Bailey. Oh, looks for the feed to Strong as the Eagles are in on it late. Moving quickly here, Strong back on defense. Cross court pass gets it to the corner. Love the scramble right there by the defense. Love the scramble. Give it, make him take a contested three. Yeah, deep three, well contested too. Dribbling quickly here. She's gonna stop and pop. Pocket back up to Taylor. Taylor flips it back to the corner. Deep three ball steps back, and hey. for the first time in a while. Yeah, good decision by Levi right there. Got in there and kicked it out to the open man, like we talked about earlier, man. When guys are hitting, get them the ball. One hand off glass. Nice shot there. First points in several minutes yep. for Watonga. So last possession here. Yeah, I want to say. You'd like to think. They had, what 11 points at the end of the first quarter, maybe yeah. something like that. And held them to. You know, Comets really took off here. Now it's from close Has out. space. Is he going to do it? Kicks into the corner. Strong for three. Oh, right. just short. Rebounded by number 23. But I tell you what, that's exactly what our. Oh, he gets the steal to lay in. 40 points. 40 burner. That's exactly what our offense is designed on, what Fate did on the previous play. Break him down off the dribble. Kick it out. Get us an open three. Long delayed jumper there from the free throw line. Last chance here, Bailey puts up a shot. And it's no good, but I tell you what, what a first good half, half right there. for the Hinton Comets. As they lead 40 to 17, yes, you're seeing that right, 40 to 17, great first half. Again, two players with what, um, 34 points? Yeah. <laughs> An electrifying first half. So again, wanna thank everybody so far here for watching, we'll have the second half coming up here in just a few minutes, but don't go anywhere, because we've got the halftime show coming up. Coach Potter's gonna be talking to Coach Lindeberg. Again, the girls just played a game, made a lot of improvements, and it'll be interesting, it'll be a good time talking to her. So we'll Absolutely. be right back here in just a moment for the halftime show. And then we'll get the second half underway right here on Hinton Comments TV. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continue. All right, back here on HintonComets.tv with head girls basketball coach, Coach Betty Lineberg. Coach, tell us a little bit about uh, your overall impressions of uh, game one tonight. Well, I think for our first run of the season, our first, we had a little jitters to begin with. First quarter is pretty rough. But I, as the game went on, we started to come into our own a little bit. A lot of bad passes, mistakes. But I think it's first game jitters. And But I saw some good things out there at the very beginning. Absolutely. You know, and, and coach, I mean, coach to coach, I would tell you that I, what I see is a ton of improvement. I mean, I see these girls that, that – 
you know, we, we were breaking the press. That was something we struggled with last year. We were getting the ball down there and getting into offense and getting some good shots. You know, some of our shots didn't fall tonight, but we got a lot of good shots early on. I felt like offensively we played well. Can you talk a little bit about that? I, I think so, too. I think we're learning and we're finding out we're having success if we move the ball around and we don't just stand. We have kind of had gotten into like a stalemate of just like standing. But finding out success, if we move the ball around, find the open person, we're going to get those shots. They might always not fall but we're going to get a good look at them. Absolutely. And, and, and I think you would probably feel the same way, that the more these girls shoot, they're going to fall. You know, right. girls like, girls like uh, Haley are going to have nights where she's going to go off on people if she gets that, exactly. that many open shots, you know. And so, you know, I thought, I thought there's a lot to be pleased with in, in that area for sure. So what are some areas you, you're looking to improve on as we go forward through, through this season? Well, I like to see us start out. Uh, we talked uh, um, a lot of our strategy was – we seem to start out really slow, so we start out in a deficit where we can't always do those with good teams. Right. As the game goes on, we start to come into it and we start to play with the team, but we can't start out far behind. So that's something. And um, uh, silly mistakes, dumb passes, things like that, those are very critical when you're playing a good team. So if we can clean that up a little bit, I think people are going to be surprised as the year goes on. Yeah, you know, one of the things I really liked was – you know, they, they got a little bit of a lead on us towards the end of the second quarter there. We didn't close mm -hmm. out the half probably how we wanted. But then all of a sudden you look at the end of the third quarter, and we won that quarter, and we're now we're back within 11. Like, our girls kept fighting and executing. I think we came out right out of out of halftime, got a good shot, good layup there, Charlie passing to uh, to Alex. And so, you know, you really like the fight in, in what they're doing right and, there. And I think that as they have some success, they're going to start getting a little more confident in the things yep. that they're doing. I think that right now – I think today they found out that we can play because last year we lost, we struggled against Watonga, but this year we got out there and we found out we can play with them a little bit. So I think that's going to yeah. bring some confidence to them. Absolutely. And they find out we can do some things. So I'm excited about So today the score didn't say a lot what I really wanted it to, but we did some good things. We proved that we can do. We just got to clean up a lot of mistakes. I agree. And that's something we talked about during the broadcast was, you know, that, that score was not indicative of how that game was played. That was the – 11 point game into the fourth quarter and we you know we just kept feeling like man if we could just hit this one shot and cut it under double digits man we're going to be right there so you know something you know Mr. Allen and I talked about quite a bit during the broadcast is when you watch our girls you see a team that's going to win some games you know I, agree, I, I think I, I think we've got a lot of we've had a lot of growth and I think we're going to see it out on the court as we go through this season yep. I, I'm I'm excited I'm I'm excited too I uh, and I'm also really proud of the girls that came off the bench because we've got some some depth a little bit this year where last year we were a little short on numbers but we got some numbers this year so yeah. we're going to have some help off the bench also yeah we talked about that Hannah Devinney came in and got a couple points in her first year back uh, after some time off and you feel like she'll probably just keep getting better as the year goes exactly. on exactly uh, you know Jalen Wiedemann came in got some rebounds for you. Uh, I tell you, you know, uh, Alex played a heck of a game tonight. Can you talk a little bit about, about Alex and how, how she's developed through this season or through this offseason, I guess? Oh, I actually, I've seen so much improvement from Alex. I know I hate to see her being a senior because I sure would like to have her for a couple of few more <laughs> That's years. That's the way it always works, isn't it? Does, it does. <laughs> but she's starting to find out exactly where her, her talents lie, and she's starting to utilize that so much more. She's tough. And she is starting to see the floor well, mm -hmm. and uh, she's, she's an excellent senior leader out there. Yeah. Well, Coach, like I said, I, I thought we saw a lot of great things tonight. I, I think we're looking at a, a lot of wins, a much improved basketball team. So, you know, credit to you, credit to the girls for the work that they've put in to, you know, put it out there on the floor. And, and we can see it. We can all see it. And I, I think that's that's a, that's a sign of good coaching. That's a sign of girls really playing hard and getting after it. So, and I'm going to tell you, I'm just ha I can't be more proud of them because they are putting the time in. And I think people are going to underestimate us, and they're going to be surprised before the year's up. Well, we look forward to seeing it, Coach. Right. So congratulations right. on, a, on a much improved uh, team and look forward to seeing how it goes the rest of the way. All right, thank All right, you. Thank you. ...develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Two words, cash back. Two more words, you're welcome. Remember that jar in your dresser where you would throw your loose change at the end of the day? Then occasionally, you take the jar to the bank to have it counted and enjoy a bit of a surprise to find there is more in there than you thought. That's Square One Banking, the account with a virtual money jar, and it's offered exclusively by Legacy Bank. All right, I want to welcome you back here. Get the second half underway. Thomas leading 40-17. We'll see if they can keep that rolling here in the second half. Good aggressive take right there by Braden. Didn't, didn't get the shot to fall, but like what he's doing. He's taking a couple floaters that I think are, you know, probably a shot he's been working on. And a great job. There, good defense. That's a great job uh, by Levi and Peyton right there, down low, battling and, and getting up to the high point, making making it a tough contested shot. And number four will set up for the inbounds play. Up top, number ten. He's going to dribble, float one up, off the glass, rolls around. Great job right there by Fate to chase that guy off his spot. You know, you could tell that play was set up for him to take that three-pointer. Chase him off the spot, get him off balance. The old jumper. Uncontested. You like that look for fate with the way he played in the first half, 16 points. You take that shot every time you're open, young man. That's a yeah. good look. It's a good open space shot. He's at over number 10. Again, defensively good. Has a yep. And, and so you force that pass to where the shooter can't take the shot. You know, he's open, but the pass took its time to get there. And, and a shot there intended, the ball there intended for number 20. Sails out of bounds, Comet ball. And the deep, good defense continues. Yes, absolutely. Like I said earlier, it's been the key to this game. It's easy sometimes to see the points and just think about the offense, but, man, the defense has set up a lot of things for us. Dribbling drive, Theo puts up a shot. Yep. Yeah, got traveled right there. Yep. Didn't really get the jump stop. He got up in the air. Probably right there with Coach Phillips is telling him, is, hey, when you get that ball that deep, kick it out to the wing. Kick it out to the wing. We had an open guy out there in the corner. And number zero passes it in. Number 10. From the elbow back to the corner. Like Just the, the inside up. feed. Good job there by Bailey. Peyton Bailey having a great, great night. First first time out here for the Comets. Crosses there. Has space. Gets it to Bailey. Down low. Strong dribble. Way to, to be patient. Yeah. Way to be patient. Open three. No good there, but late. You know, late feed there. Number 10 is kind of late to get his feet off the ground. So no, no scoring here early. Kind of, everybody's kind of cooled off a little bit at, at the half. but And you know that old saying, like you live by the three, die by the three. If it, a lot of shots fall in the first half. The interesting see good steal there by Bailey. And again, what happened? They're making passes from out here at half court because our, li our length and everything has pushed them out there. And the way we're scrapping has pushed them out to where they don't want to be. Taylor dribbles out. Another deep three ball by Thiel. That rattles around strong, fights for the rebound, but loses control as he crosses up with Bailey. Pass here is to get in late, draws the contact. Hey, I thought, the, thought we might get a foul call right there, which would have been a good foul. Don't yeah. give up the layup, make him go shoot free throws, but uh, instead it's just ball out right there, so great job by Levi getting back. I tell you, it's been a really interesting call game. There's been yeah, some surprises. There, there's been some, both, both ways, there's been some that I thought, eh, maybe a foul, but... Uh, and hesitates, pulls a three. And that's no good. That's exactly what you want right there. If you got a guy hesitating, you've got it. You got him doing what you want him to do right there. So good yeah. job. 
and it's a young team too, so little mental things like that are are you know going to bode well for the Comets as Bailey gets the feed to the corner or to the elbow and out to the corner. Yep. Another yep. three that ball attempt. Oh, I was Miles strong, around strong with the help. The put back. Great job by Brady. I think I jinxed Nolte right there. I thought that one was going in right off his hands. And with so. the first half like we had. Yeah, I mean, it looked good off his hand from here. So that'll teach me to be quiet and not try to guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Moving quickly here in transition. Uh, double, and, a and a double double. double. Yep. He's got in a little bit of a hurry. Yeah, he had a couple like that, a travel, that, you know, just a couple turnovers. Yeah. 42 17. Playing well right here. Just. You know, uh, I'm sure what Coach Phillips would say is he wants to see continued execution on offense, and he wants to see the defense continue to give problems like they have this so far this ha uh, this quarter. And Comets still staying in that zone defense right there. Another off three ball. It's just not close. No, no, it's just you know one of those nights. And said er every team has them, and you just gotta find ways to play through. Them. Strong but from the elbow. I'm glad they're having it tonight. Yeah. So. And I say you build up a lead like this, shots start not falling. You can kind of work your way through that slump as Thomas kind of missed a few shots here, but oh, and gets a swat there by Bailey. Tough shot. 42-19. Deal across half court. And a timeout taken by the Comets. Yeah, I think Coach Phillips just kind of wants to settle him in. It, it, you know, we've only met, had two points here in this quarter and I think he wants to settle me in, get back into our offensive routine. So, you know, probably probably a good timeout right here. You know, settle down. We played good enough defense to, to keep the lead, but, you know, you definitely like to, uh, you know, keep the pressure going on them uh, when we're on the offensive side. So slow down, draw some things up, and let's get back to work. I kind of want to remind everybody, we give a little talk about our events we got coming up. we got uh, Calumet, of course, is the opener tonight here in Watonga. we got Calumet this Friday. It's a road game. That'll start at 6.30 with the girls' game and the boys to follow. Then the following Tuesday, December 6th, we got Cordell at home. And then the following weekend, we had the Burns Flat Tournament. So, Yeah, a lot of busy, busy times right now. Like we said, uh, you know, UConn's in the uh, – or, excuse me, our boys yeah. and girls are wrestling against UConn at Hinton. Uh, maybe wrapped up by now. I'm not sure. I hadn't got an update on that. But uh, wrestling at full swing. Basketball in full swing now, and then, uh, you know, you, you were mentioning it earlier, you got some vocal concerts coming up. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's just busy time of year these last three weeks before Christmas break. Yeah, had our vocal program for fifth and sixth, or for fifth grade before the break. Got the Christmas program for the elementary coming up. Band has their Christmas program, and high school vocal has their Christmas program as well. Yeah. All coming up in the next two weeks, so exciting times before we hit the – semester break yeah yeah it, this, this is fast and furious you know at junior highs and tournaments this week also as far as basketball goes so it's uh and i know wrestling's got a tournament this weekend uh so it, it's fast and furious these last three weeks here before we hit christmas break and banks the second free throw 43 19 343 remaining has this been a fast-paced game? It has. It has. Not, not a lot of stoppage. You know, like I said, the referee's kind of letting them play a little bit. So when you don't have all those stoppages, it, it just kind of rolls. Uh, been an exciting game if you're a Comet fan, for yeah. sure. So, you know, a lot to be pleased with tonight On uh, if you're, you know, a supporter of Comet basketball. I, like I said, the girls' game obviously didn't end the way we wanted it to, but I felt like the girls – Showed a lot of improvement, did a lot of things really, really well. And uh, look, looking at them to win a lot more games this year. And, you know, the boys have been playing really well. Taylor with the three from the Levi. corner. And Levi doesn't shoot a lot, but when he does, he's a good shooter. Yep. So good look right there by Faith to get the ball out. Again, forced him to think about it, the length of the defense. Got him to think. So like that, Taylor. Set up to inbound. Yeah, and again, the, you know, we talked about, you know, we're kind of a dribble drive offense this year, and that was a perfect example. Fate breaks him down off the dribble. Go find the guy. And Brookshire lays it up. Oh, good effort. Ooh, and then a late check to Strong. I don't know how. Uh, not sure about the travel call right there, but, <laughs> yeah. Good look ahead by Fate to get the ball to Jack. Yeah, who had to ha had a shot had a shot under the basket, just mm -hmm. didn't quite fall. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, Levi kind of hurt himself a little bit there, shake it off. He's a tough kid. Yeah. I mean, he's a tough kid. He'll play through injuries, no doubt about it. I've seen that for four years I was on the football <laughs> field. He, he played through everything. We saw that during football season. That's a tough kid. Yep. And in five, inside feed number three, yep. kind of awkward shot I, there. I think he was thinking about, I think he got kind of in between if he wanted to dunk it or yep. lay it up. And sometimes you see, even heck, even in NBA games, you'll see that. Great pass by Faye, there great job go. by Jack. Two points for Brookshire, low post. Is that yeah. time clean? Yeah, we, and we've had two good looks right there, last two possessions. I, and again, that was a good timeout earlier by Coach Phillips, kind of get us resettled and get us back to what we know we can do. And just touch that's right. Gotta be on that. Yeah, yeah, travel. Called travel. I thought he could have called charge, but we'll take yeah. either one. Yeah, great, going, great head first by Braden Jack. <laughs> going head first. Yeah, yeah. You'd think leading in with the head and shoulder <laughs> might get it, but that's all right. It's a good defense. And pass it over to Taylor, who takes a three ball. Looks good. It's in. Bang. And that's what he doesn't take a lot of them, but when he does, they yeah. typically go in. That's great, it. great job by Fate. Fate's had about three or four assists right here down the stretch of this uh, third quarter. Oh man, I think they can call maybe for the. Looks like they crossed up feet there. Yeah, not, not intentional. Feet no, no, no intention to that. Just uh, got feet tangled up. It happens. And again, you know, on Taylor, it looked like just the moment it left his fingertips, it looked good. And he knew it too. As soon as he. Pulled it, he kind of knew that's going in. And a 30 point game for your comments. A minute 33 remaining here in the third. Yeah. Uh, man, just a dominating performance. I mean, uh, don't know really what else you can say about it, that we've just taken off and, and played well. You know, I'm sure Coach Phillips excited his first head game as a head coach and feeling pretty comfortable with where they're at here late in the third. So, you know, I, I hopefully we can keep this up and get some younger guys in during the fourth quarter, or, you know, and you know, gain some, get some experience for them early on in the season. And they got a lot of, you know, they got a lot of depth. They got a lot of players, so. A lot of players. Yeah, I mean, we're filling up the bench and then a couple of extra seats. So, uh, you know, good to see. You, 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 that's a good problem to have is having a lot of depth. And, you know, one thing you think about, too, here is, you know, kind of moving on. There's the good and the bad. The good thing about when you have a game three days later is you can shake off a loss, but you also got to be careful not to carry too much yeah. on your head and shoulders after a win like this because you get a big blowout win and you, know, you don't want to get feeling too high and mighty. Of course, I think we got, you know, I think they'll do a good job of kind of keeping temperament. And yeah, got, like got quite a few seniors in, yeah. in the lineup that'll, that will help them, you know, get back to focus. But, you know, same thing like we talked about earlier in the girls' game. In basketball, you kind of have to have that 24 hour rule. Like, yeah. hey, we can be happy about it tonight. But once the clock hits midnight, we roll in the next day. Yeah. It's time to move on. And uh, Met, whether you win or lose, Calumet's usually pretty good too. Yeah, Calumet's got a. Uh, from what I'm hearing, Calumet has a really good team this year. So yeah. and they got a coach that's been there a while. Yeah, so it's it's uh, definitely going to be a, a tough tough game for them on, on Friday. But you know that that's the good thing about those early season games. Oh, great look ahead by yeah. Jack. Great job. And yeah. a swat there by number three, and again. Not much you can do about that. He kind of looked back in a, in a cocky way towards towards Fate there, and I think Fate just said, okay, that's fine, you know. But yeah. Good job by Brayden to go get that rebound and get get the foul called. The free throw attempt is good. And, you know, it's like you said, you got it's what you like about having some upperclassmen on the team, some leadership, you know, a little yeah. bit of maturity. Moments like that, they're just going to shake off. Yeah, and, say. And, that's, and that's what I want to highlight there, really, is just fate being mature and being smart and how he handles handled some of that. Just, just keep on going. No reason to, you know. Make something out of that in a 30-point game. Yeah. So up 32 here, 53-21. Comet's looking to close out strong. Great job. Brookshire, good job. Oh, another good defensive play right there. Yeah. Deal moving quickly here. Good job. Good job. Settle in. Yeah, I got a space. Good pass to Brookshire. Put the shot up. And the whistle. And I tell you what, that's about assist number five this quarter for Fate. And that's a third or fourth time that Jack has gotten himself into a good position underneath and, and, and put his 
put his body between the defender and the goal gave him a chance for another layup. So great job. And it kind of, you know, kind of go ahead. Starting to disperse the points a little bit. Yeah, more, a little bit. Right now, yeah. But man, what a, we talked about this a lot last year with Jack. He, Jack was that guy who'd come in and he'd get you five points and he'd get you four rebounds. And you know, he's just a he's just a scrappy player, tough kid. Gets after it, gives you a ton of energy. And you like to see those points coming from down low to low post, especially when, you know, you've got so many three-point shooters on this yep. team. Yeah, that's going to, you know, every good team, players figure out what their roles are, you know, and, and I think Jack knows what his role is, and he plays it really, really well. And he has for a long time now, you know. He was a very key uh, player to him last season, and I look for him to have a, have a big year. And three ball again, tough shot. Yep. Is it? Doesn't meet the rim there. Second yeah. chance, puts up a shot, a little contact. Definitely need, you know, want to box out that backside, but good closeout by Braden on the three-pointer, make him take a tough shot. Yeah, it feels like every ball from the every shot from the perimeter for Watonga has been a tough three ball. Yeah. Not been very many just easy, uncontested shots. They've Combs have really forced a lot of tough shots in general tonight. And I don't know the yeah. percentage shooting from the perimeter, but it's just not been there for the Eagles tonight. Right. First free throw attempt is good. Second free throw attempt. Thanks. 56-23 game. Clock winding down here in the third. Phil dribbles, crosses. Oh. Inside feed to Brookshire, no one there. That's assist number six this quarter. Yeah. And most of them have been either Jack or Levi. And just <laughs> kind of lost. He, gets, he just kind of lost him there. He yeah. kind of sinks in at that low post and gets lost in a great feed, like and, you said. And it, seven points right there for Jack and before you notice what happened. You know what I mean? That's just the type of player he is. All right. What more could you ask for here is we got a 53, or excuse me, 58-23 ball game here at the end of the third. So we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back here in just a moment for the start of the fourth right here on Hitting Comments TV. Christianity is about walking by faith, living with hope, and sharing our love. And the greatest of these is love. We love God, our neighbors, and one another. And we would be delighted for you to come share the love of God with us at the Hinton Church of Christ, 307 South Spencer in Hinton, Oklahoma. Join us on Sundays for Bible classes for all ages at 9 a.m., worship at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., and midweek Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere all right get the fourth quarter underway here 58 23 ball game yeah here, here in the fourth three ball from the corner definitely want to see the comments close this out and kind of you know leave you know feeling good about the way they closed in a game like this and and it is fourth quarter, despite what you yeah, see despite, on the scoreboard. Yeah, it says third quarter. It is the fourth, I promise. <laughs> I, I don't promise. think either team is interested in redoing the third again. No. <laughs> but floats it up there, elevates. Good athleticism there. As you know, this team does have some some really good young athletes. I think over the next two or three years they're going to get progressively better. But I think, as you alluded to earlier, they've got two or three freshmen that are starting. At least, at least a couple that I know. It's a young team. As he puts up the dunk. Yeah, that's, uh, that's his third dunk of the game. That's pretty impressive for yeah. sure. Oh, man. Kind of catches a foot on the head. And, and 
Yeah, and right, and right there you can hear Coach Phillips telling Nolte right there, look for the pass. That was kind of a tough floater right there. We were open out here in the corner. This time you just like you just cross your fingers and hope in a game like this where you it's pretty decided. You don't get any of your key players, any sure. of your starters hurt. Yeah, absolutely right. Absolutely right. And you and you can tell like said, you know, we still got a lot of starters in or you know, a lot of our you know, Jack's typically our sixth man right here, but you got these guys in because, you know, Man, Watonga's so athletic. You know, yeah. at any moment they could get going and get on a roll and yeah. know, they scored four quick points just to start the quarter. So yep. uh, you got to kind of keep your guys in and keep keep the foot on the throttle a little bit here for a little bit longer. And Number four has it from the top of the key. Looks at the feed. Nothing really there. Puts it over to 20. Ball from the corner. Corner three. Rattles around. And a foul. Yeah, that tough call right there. Tough call right there. Blocking out. Got a little aggressive, but that's all right. We're going to be aggressive than not. And you have to expect maybe see the three ball continue here. As, you know, you're trailing by a lot of points. Yeah, you're just trying to get back in it. And that's the quickest way to get back in it. And if you're, if you're hitting, you want to block out. And you want to make sure you don't don't get any, uh, you know, don't foul too much. Yeah. Right here. Just get the clock moving, take good shots, no need to rush and take bad shots. That's a tough shot right there, speaking yeah, of which. That, that's probably one that Coach Phillips would say, hey, we didn't need that shot. Fortunately, we got bailed out. Bad pass, but I think Coach Phillips would probably tell Braden right there, hey, just slow down. Let, we'll, we'll get that shot anytime we want to. Let's, let's slow down, run a little clock. Yeah, because Tong is on a little bit of a run here. Yeah, 6 0 little run. Little 6 0 run. That's what's tough, like we talked about earlier, man. Sometimes it's tough when you get a big lead to just keep keep going. And it went down. It had to be a foul, yep. Great move by Nolte right there. Yep. What I liked at the bottom of that was he was patient and let those big guys fly by before he went up. So the comments have been really good from the stripe tonight. Yeah, let's see if we can keep it going. Hopefully you didn't jinx them. <laughs> Broadcaster jinx right Broadcaster. there. Broadcaster. <laughs> Uh, look at there. Lucky, look at there. I was going to put your name and address out hey. there on, uh, on, the, on the live feed. That's just how good Everybody of a shooter. Everybody need to come get you for Jinx and our, our team. And that's just how. See, look what you did. His name is Nathan <laughs> Allen. He lives at. No, we'll, we'll, we won't tell <laughs> him. I told you. I see. <laughs> broadcaster Jinx. Jeez. Hey, it's a 30-point game. Got to make it interesting somehow. Number four from the top of the key. Pass it over, driving in. Just puts up a tough yeah, shot. Nothing really there. Number four, the second chance points. The shot we want. We just got to clean up and block out a little bit. We kind of got a little sloppy on the block out. Yep. And Taylor will set up the inbounds for Thomas. He's had to feel. 544 May, still 30 point game. Dribbles right, finds a lane, kicks to the corner, strong from the elbow. Right Inside that's feed, lays it up. Great vision. Great job right there. And that, that's exactly what Coach Phillips wanted earlier. And that's a great job by Braden of being coachable. Instead of coming in and taking that tough shot, looked around, found the back backdoor cut from Fate, and we get two points. Great effort right here by Nolte and Fate. Yeah, as Nolte comes crashing right, in there. Effort, Nolte. That's something you love to see, especially you know with yeah, the thing. Yeah, in a game like this, you want to yeah. you want to go. Especially in a 32-point game. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it going. Keep the. And again, it, it doesn't seem like much, but those are the things that later on matter. You know, are you willing to keep fighting no matter what the circumstances are? Because if you are, in, in those close games, it's already built into you. And another missed corner three is number three himself leaps up there and catches the tip. Was it gonna say Eagles ball? It looked like it. Yeah, that was that wasn't, but looked like it caught the fingertip of number three. It, it did, and but that, <laughs> eh, what do you do? You just move on. Like I said just regroup, play some play some defense here. And ball sells out wide. Number zero comes in there and just saves it. Possession will stay with the Eagles. Great Tries job. to cross. Good job. Yeah, exactly. 
Look at look at what look at all the work they're having to do to, and that's fine. Yep. That's fine. We're He's not bad. Little, little not frustrated bad. There. He's yeah. frustrated. Great and job. like that by Theo. Yep. Yeah, I was say, great job by Faye to come pull him in there and, and get control of it <laughs> before he got uh, before he got himself too fired up there. Love to see the competitiveness in him yeah. right there. Yeah, you do. But, you know, definitely so, want to control it. Don't you get technical. And, yeah, you technical there. Don't, sometimes don't you got to do zoom out. Yeah, Look just, at the big picture. Yeah, just... A lot to like about that defensive possession. Had them get out here by half court, you know. So. And so Thiel dribbled out under 430. 31 point game. Comet's just looking to close this one out. Yeah. Ah, space Man, on away by number three. Space we'll see what he does bad. here, though. Yeah. And no travel. Nah, I, I don't know. It's fourth dunk of the game right there. Tell you, he's quite the athlete. Yeah. But you can see that that offensive possession was kind of we our you know our floor spacing was kind of bad and it just just didn't look right and it led to a turnover. So, like I said, still want to execute. Feeds it to Taylor. Taylor pops it back. Feel. Gonna dribble cross court pass strong, has a lane, just needs to go up. Oh, and does a little bit of contact. Number three in transition, he's gonna take matters into his own hands, pops it up. I see. Looks like he cramped up there at the end. Yeah, you could tell. You know, it's funny, while ago, he was kind of walking a little bit funny. Yeah, first game of the season, man, these, these cramps can, can kind of get you. Yeah, we see that a lot of times. You know, you being a football coach, you see that a lot in the first yeah, couple games. Er, er, that August season. heat, September heat. Yeah, you know, and you just – you can run as much as you want to no matter what the sport is, but there ain't no comparison to playing that first game and the adrenaline and the, you know, everything else going through. It just – it just will do that to you sometimes. So, you know, glad it's just a cramp. Hopefully he'll get stretched out and be good to go. So. Tonga's only got four guys out here on the court right now. Yeah. So. There they go. There they go. There they go. There they go. Yep. I was like, wait, I'm missing somebody. <laughs> I think he may have been over by the sideline. I didn't see him. Steel. Oh. And Brookshire from the elbow. Kind of regains control. Deep three ball. A little too much on it. Brookshire tries to keep it Good in bounds. By Jack. Again, another great effort, even, you know, despite what's going on in the game. Great effort. 318 remaining. Sales it over number 23 who checked in the game for number three. Little contact, shot falls. And hey, and give give Watonga credit too. They're continuing to play. They're continuing to battle right here. They've you know they've cut into the lead a little bit. They they're com they're still competing and still working to get after it. And that's you know as a coach, that's what you want, especially in games like this. Lead down to 25. And free throw attempt, the and one, no good. Comet balls, let's see if they kind of look to slow things down just a little bit. Morgan dribbles. Attack, throws up. And a whistle. Yeah. Foul Watonga. I think right there what you saw was, you know, Nolte bringing the ball down. I think that was an opportunity that coach wanted to take to get the ball in someone else's hands, let them bring it down and run the offense a little bit, you know, because there's going to come a time where fate needs a sub, or we're, you know what I mean? And that's that's a good experience right there, kind of game within the game right there. Yes. He yeah, looks for the feed. Close it up top. Brookshire gets up. There we go. Now just Morgan kicks it to the corner. New ball by Thiel, no good. As they fight to the floor. Ball stays with the Comets. I think we've used the word scrappy with Jack Brookshire yeah. quite a few times, right? Yeah. And, Ooh, and Strong getting a little upset. Got to keep in check. Yeah, and you know, that's really, isn't that what you want from your six man? Yeah. 
Yeah, scrappy player. Scrappy a player. Champion, a scrappy player is exactly what you want. Guy's going to get you a few rebounds, get you six to eight points. Play scrappy ball, good defense. That's what you like to see from your sixth man. And so, again, this is just one of those situations late in the game. The lead is big. You know, there's going to be a little bit of salt here yeah. and there, you know. Yeah, just, just don't let it here. get to your head. Yep, get out of here and, and not have anything, anything stupid happen. <laughs> Is that football coach coming out there? Yeah, a little bit. But <laughs> my, my instinct was to, <laughs> you know, you know get, try to grab that situation, get it under control. And Coach Phillips did a good job right here talking to his guys, getting them calmed down. They're going, you know, How about your going first? making a substitution here just to kind of make sure nothing yeah. gets out of hand, you know. How about your first game as head coach starting to clear off with a dub? Yeah, and a big one. Yes. A big, big. On the road. Big one. Yeah, that's that's a good way to good way to start it out. All right, so coming out of the timeout here, two forty-five remaining in the fourth. Thiel will set up the inbounds play. Taylor dribbles, kicks it back to Thiel. Thiel's gonna drive. Has help. Got Low travel. post. Yeah. Yep. Two and a half minutes left here. Just looking to close this thing out. Crosses. Met by Thiel. Sets up a screen. Back inside. Almost not really a pick and roll, but. Close one back up. That rattles around. I tell you what, they've had a lot of shots rattle around. Seems like tonight. Yeah, just hasn't been their night. Oh, look for the feet in there. I think we thought Brookshire was going to be there at the low Jeff post. Still there, yeah. And across, number three lays it up, and the foul. <laughs> so he took matters into his own hands there. Still kind of walking a little bit funny. Yeah, I think he might have caught that ankle going up, too. That was a kind of fell in a funny way against that. It's the basketball goal there. It's five on Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack will finish the night with seven points. Played a heck of a game. Yeah, he did. Somebody has got the base going. Right in there for the rebound. Good job Good there. Trace. Lead, yep, Trace. Lead down to 23. Just take care of the ball here. Under two minutes. No need to... No need to hurry. Over to the corner. Passes back to Taylor. Yep. Just keep moving the ball here. And yep. Get ready to head home with the victory. Flips it to Thiel. Thiel crosses, drives, has a lane. Can't quite right. take advantage of it. Quick ball moving here. Two on one. Is he going to? Oh, he goes up with it but loses the ball. Good job by the guy right there. Trying to catch it down there at the bottom. You're not going to get up and, and beat him up at the top, so you just got to try to get a hand in. And yep. <laughs> Slim. Yeah. The nickname, you know exactly who he's talking about, talking about Bailey. Says that's his, his nickname. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. They mentioned him. That's yeah, yeah. 25 right there for Nolte. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he told me the other day, he said, yeah, Slim's been playing well. I said, who is Slim? <laughs> I did, had no idea. So, yeah, Peyton Bailey. Peyton Bailey. Affectionately known as Slim by his <laughs> coach and teammates. <laughs> so, minute, um, minute 11 remaining. It's a great job tonight, like I said. Great debut for Coach Phillips. Great game tonight for several Comet players. Of course, everyone's going to see, you know, Fate's 18 points and a million assists. And, yep. you know, Nolte's 25 points, which were all great, uh, great things. But then, you know, you look at all the little things, the defense that Levi and Braden played, the scrappiness of, of – uh, Jack, the way Peyton played the middle against really yes. tall athletic kids. A lot of great things to be happy about. Trace came in, got a couple of rebounds. A lot of things to be happy about with tonight's win. So, really happy for the Comets. Great start to the season. And again, just running the clock out here under 30. As Comets look to close out the season with a win and an impressive one at that. Yeah, for sure. They're met by a standing round of applause here on the 
Comet side. So Comet faithful brought a big crowd tonight. Yeah, uh, for the sure Comets. Comets are here in full force. So great job by the Comets tonight. The clock's gonna tick down right here. That's your ball game. And that'll do it. As your Comets start the season off. Big win there, 63-38. Again, we want to remind everybody, we hope you had as much fun as we did tonight. We're going to continue this action on Friday at Calumet. Girls and boys game right here on HintonComets.tv. So that starts at 6.30. So, again, want to thank Coach Potter. Thank everybody. Thank our camera crew tonight for uh, all the work they did. And we will see you guys on Friday right here on HintonComets.tv. On any device.